the most significant factor that I've addressed in my workout routine by far is rest time. Second, it's probably repetition tempo, really focusing while performing the exercise, squeezing on the positive, stretching on the negative. But if you change the rest time, everything else will fall into place. That repetition tempo, the volume, the weight, you'll be able to train at a much higher frequency as well as prevent injury. To be honest, I don't remember where I got the idea for shorter rest periods during my workout. I think it might have been Kai Green, but once I switched from the typical two to three minute rest time down to 20 to 40 seconds, I was able to dramatically transform both my training style as well as my physique. A lot of this goes against conventional weightlifting standards, bro science. On top of that, it takes enjoyment out of working out to some degree. You know, you're in the gym every day, you really have to focus. It becomes a second job, incredibly monotonous. Your average bodybuilding split or powerlifting routine typically hits muscle groups once or twice a week. When you're physically in the gym performing sets, you know, most people bang out an eight to 10 rep max, and they stir at their phones for you know, two, three, maybe even five minutes. They're content with pumping out two plates on the bench press, you know, seeing improvements in strength, hitting that PR every week, bro, as opposed to exploring ways to take the muscle to failure. So what happens when you reduce the rest time to 20 to 30 seconds? The main consideration is that the weight drops substantially. You, know, you might go from benching 185 pounds for reps down to 135 pounds. But what can take that even further is using the correct repetition tempo for hypertrophy, making sure you're really getting the concentric and eccentric motion. Back when I was 18, 19, really doing the bro split, I was at over two plates on the bench press for 10 reps. And my chest is now bigger doing things such as 30 pound dumbbell presses for the same amount of reps, just a shorter rest time and better repetition tempo. You know, once you get a few sets in, really flexing and squeezing the muscle, you're able to take the muscle to failure just as effectively as using that heavier weight. There are so many benefits as well as reasons to do this. The most important one is achieving your goals quicker through a higher volume routine. If you use a lighter weight to take your muscles effectively to failure, you don't stress your CNS, joints, ligaments, tendons, nearly as much as using heavier weight. It's how I'm able to do full body every single day. You know, my workout volume is probably four to five times the average bodybuilder, despite spending a similar amount of time in the gym every week. You know, is that effectively four to five times as much muscle growth? No, but I think it's certainly two to three times as much. Another aspect this allows you to incorporate is the removal of accessory muscles more so. You shift your focus to shorter rest times, lighter weight, really pounding that chest on the bench press as opposed to the shoulders and triceps. It allows you to fatigue the targeted muscle very quickly and effectively. And one major reason for this is that with the increased frequency and volume, you can try out many exercises in a shorter training period. Four, five, six exercises of three, four, five sets just for one muscle group chest. So if one exercise doesn't feel good, say, you know, the bench press is really hammering your front delts, you know, you only spent two or three minutes doing that exercise. So you can move on to a fly or some type of movement that you're able to achieve that mind muscle connection with easier. When you reduce the rest time, drop the ego, everything really falls into place. Of course, we can't forget injuries, whether it's David Laid blowing his back out doing deadlifts or Chris Bumstead exploding his shoulder, that all happened because they train with incredibly heavy weight. And it's not to say that you, know, you can't get injured on a uh, lower rest time routine, but the chances are so much lower because you're using moderate weight, you're controlling it, you're focused, and I've actually never been injured in the last 10 years I've been lifting weights. And I like to think I look just as good as any other natural bodybuilder on YouTube. And I can't stress enough how important this is. If you listen to any other bodybuilder on YouTube, they're usually talking about some near career ending injury that's bothering them. Shoulder pain so bad they can't even raise their arm. And that's not from overworking the muscle. 
that's from damaging your joints, ligaments, and tendons. You're doing something wrong. The top bodybuilders in the world aren't training correctly. It really is about genetics, drugs, and uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. Bodybuilders have such large egos with strength that they lose the main focus of bodybuilding, hypertrophy, taking the muscle to failure. You know, do you want to shoulder press 100 pound dumbbells and destroy every piece of tissue in that shoulder area? Or do you want to do 25 pound dumbbells and really take that mid delt to failure? Nice and controlled with minimal involvement of accessory muscles and tissues. But again, since you're using moderate weight, controlled repetition tempo, you have to decrease the rest time. Otherwise, the muscle recovers too quickly and you could still take it to failure. It's just you'll spend two to three hours in the gym if you rest that long. And uh, by all means, you could do that, but it's not practical for most people. So thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, as with everything, I always encourage people to try things out, see if it works. You know, don't just take my word for this. You know, I'm going to have my workout routine ready next week or the following week. And you know, I'm not exaggerating when I say, you know, my 15 years of gym experience has come to this routine. So everything I'm saying, I've proven it works. I've made a dramatic transformation over the past year with my physique. Uh, so I hope this helps you guys incorporate high volume resistance training into your lifestyle that will hopefully make you happier and healthier. Uh, so thanks again for joining me, guys. Uh, you can go to frank-tofano.com to check out everything from consultations to Frankie's free range meat. If you guys do want to help me out, definitely share the video on social media. Leave me a comment down below, drop a like, and of course, hit that notification bell if you haven't. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.